Hi, this is James with Engadget, and we are with Xbox just ahead of Gamescom. I'm with Scott and Chad from Xbox, who are going to show us a little bit of a demo uh, of Connect. They've got, I believe, a first-person shooter. Is that yeah. like a sort of a? This is, this is a sample game that we've built, really, to explore some of the game mechanics of how Connect can affect uh, first-person shooter type games. Right. I see. So Chad looks like he's using a controller. So. Yeah. Yeah. He's using a standard uh, first-person shooter controls, both thumbsticks. Right. It's a game we call Reflex. He's playing through the level here. And the basic premise of the game is that when you're watching someone play a first-person shooter, they're not sitting still. Right. Right? They're flinching, they're getting into the yeah. gameplay, you know, they're, they're moving into the action. And we can see that movement with Kinect and use it to enhance the gameplay. So what are some of the, we can see Chad's lifting the controller up here? Yeah, so as you kind of flinch and bring your controller up in front of you, it brings your shields up automatically. Right. So there's no extra button presses, your thumbs never leave your thumbstick for that. And what other um, game uh, dynamics are controlled by the, the Kinect? So the other thing you'll notice here is as he's leaning, uh, his leaning motion is right. seen by the Kinect, and he can actually dodge uh, these enemies that are approaching him by leaning. So a lot of the main controls will be the same. So same also... look and movement controls, same right. trigger controls. His hands are never leaving the controller. He's able to dodge and move. Um, some of the other mechanics, for example, he can turn on X-ray vision. If you want to show X-ray vision, Chad? Oh, he's dodging really hard. Just by tapping his forehead there, he okay. turns on. Okay, so we can see that on the screen now, yeah. and it comes on. Super, uh, super satisfying just to kind of give that right. quick gesture to kind of touch your X-ray vision. Okay, so and this is like a good hybrid of obviously both the controller and the controller. Exactly, the combination of the two. And then the final mechanic is it gets a little bit further here. He can actually point at the screen with his finger uh, okay. to control another reticle, and then he can use his voice to launch missiles at that second targeting device. Will that work here? We've got a lot of noise around. Yeah, so. it, it should be able to hear him. Fire missiles. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and so you see how he's targeting separately with his hand Fire and with his, with his weapon. Right, and so accuracy-wise, it's still like, you know, you've got a good sort Fire of, missiles. you know, where he's pointing, he's going to get like a, a good lock on. Yeah, it's kind of a targeting system where you can swipe, uh, right. swipe and target multiple okay, at right. once. Once those are lit up, you can fire missiles at them. Right. And you said there was another demo as well. Yeah, a platform demo. You is like that easy that? to set up? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right switch, switch over to that. So first of all, what you're seeing here is Connect's 3D vision. So you're seeing yourself in three dimensions. Right. This is basically a 3D model of the room that's happening at 30 times per second. You can see I can even rotate the camera view around. Okay. So you can see this is a real 3D model. The other thing you'll notice is the large field of view. So you can get very close to the sensor, which yep. is great for smaller living rooms, like here in Europe. Okay. Uh, also very wide field of view. So and you don't have to sit directly in front of the TV to be seen by the sensor. So in addition to the 3D capabilities, Connect also has a 2D color camera. Yep. So here's our high there definition 1080p color camera, great for things like Skype. Um, we also have a, basically a night vision mode. Yep. We call Active IR. So we're seeing in the dark. This works in pure, pure darkness. Another really cool feature is uh, we can remove ambient light. So what okay. you're seeing here is the flashlight. You're seeing how that's kind of distorting the color image, and that's being completely filtered out of the uh, IR image. So that's great for computer vision applications like recognizing who's in the room. Now we'll combine all of that to understand what, what movement's happening. So here you're seeing yourself in skeletal view. Yeah. We got a lot of people moving around right. in the background. Right, and he's picking them up slightly as well. Isn't yeah, it? we can see him up to four and a half meters back. So we got a lot of people here uh, in this crowded venue. The bands here, like. So those are your basic skeleton, anatomically correct skeleton, all that subtle movement. Uh, we have what we call box man here. You can see your actual rotation of your body parts as you twist your arms, twist your legs, even look around the room. All that movement can be seen by Connect. So finally, I can do the robot. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then my personal favorite, what we call muscle and force or muscle man. So one of the things you'll notice here is the, the color of your legs. Yeah. As your weight is transferring from your body, we can see that weight transfer. And your, uh, the more red your limbs are, the more force that's being applied. As you're putting torque on your body parts, you'll see them bulge out. And that's just a, a calculation based on... It's a, basically a physics model. We can right. see your movement, yeah. combine it with an understanding of physics and gravity. You can also take some punches at the screen. You see those white circles? They're showing how hard you're punching. If you put your back into it, actually throw your weight into it, you get a much bigger circle. Okay, we so can it's like see the all background. When you have to do the exactly, all right. You can see we can see not only the the speed of movement, direction of movement, but also how much weight and energy you're putting into it. Now this one, uh, this one looks at the closest person. So if one of you want to step step up in the front, 
Uh, this will actually measure your heart rate by looking at your face. Right. This is based on a basic principle that as your heart is beating, there's little fluctuations in the color of your skin, not detectable by the human eye, but can seen by the, oh, by really? the sensor. Yeah. So if I was to sort of give it some... Yeah, if you do some jumping jacks, come, um, and then it measures when you stand still, so when right. you stop the jumping jacks, you'll notice that your heart rate will be higher. This is great for fitness experiences, exertion, uh, in gameplay itself. I almost flat by now, is that right? It takes, a, it takes a few seconds to lock on after you stop yeah. the movement. Just making sure I'm, you know, I'm not gonna... Yeah, you're still, you're still healthy. Um, and then we'll turn on here. This is showing, this is showing who's in the room. We know, the, we know who Chad is. You can see we've recognized him. Right. Uh, we also understand your expressions, if you're neutral or happy, what's going on in the room. We also have what we call our third thumbstick. So as, as you guys move around, if you guys want to lean to the left and the right, I'll even give Chad the controller here. Okay, yeah. So what's happening is the controller has two thumbsticks. The third thumbstick is virtual and it's controlled by your body movement. Right. So we actually give that, that thumbstick to games. So as a game developer, you have the two that are coming from the controller and the third that's just controlled by your natural body movement. When it says engaged, is this because is this I'm looking at, at the As camera? you look at the TV, right. you're engaged. Yeah. As you look away and you're talking to me, you're not engaged. Right. And even if the mouth is open and closed, you can see that, right? Yeah, so those are really handy for things like understanding if you're talking at the, the Xbox okay, yeah. or if you're talking to someone else in the room. So that's kind of the quick walk. Oh, the other thing, if you want to hand the controller, Chad, you can see that we can see who's holding which controller. You see how the icon changed to your right. face. And this is great for uh, gameplay scenarios where so you have, you pass exactly, we've got multiple people in the room. We're all sharing a controller. Uh, when you jump into the game, you don't have to interrupt the gameplay by signing in, saying who you are, which controller you're holding. Connect can already see who you are and what controller you're holding. And it just takes like a second. Just a second, basically, to, to see you holding that new controller and for you to jump into the gameplay. Great for games like Killer Instinct, where you're right. all taking turns playing. You want those wins to count to your account. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, um, thanks very much for the demo. No, no problem. And, um, Pleasure. So this is the first sort of hands-on demo with Kinect that we've seen. I'm James at Gamescom. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with more info on the show.